In Oregon, new numbers show about 14% of renters are not current with their rent payments. There are a variety of rent assistance programs, but tonight we have learned there are some serious gaps in the tenant relief bill passed in December by the Oregon legislature. That bill allocated $200 million for rent forgiveness. Most of it would be given to landlords to pay off tenants' rent debt. That is the topic of this week's Willamette Week cover story. Here to talk about it, reporter Sophie Peel. Sophie, thank you for coming on the program. Yeah, thanks for having me. One loophole you found, if someone owes back rent and then moves out of their apartment, they can't get money from this fund. Is that right? Right. So so the $150 million that was allocated um, to the Landlord Compensation Fund, um, only those tenants who are currently living in those buildings um, are eligible for that fund. Um, so that leaves that. It's hard to know how many people that leaves out um, who did decide to move out and, you know, who are arguably doing the financially responsible thing by moving out of a place they could no longer afford. Um, but it does leave those people out from that bill. By one industry calculation, Sophie, landlords across Oregon are owed 50 million dollars in unpaid rent. How is that going to impact the landlords and the tenants now? So as far as the tenants go, um, if you're saddled with rent debt from another place, it's highly unlikely that you're going to be able to get housing at another place. Um, I don't think many landlords don't screen for, you know, how, how you're in financial standing with your previous landlord. Um, so that certainly makes it harder to access housing. And then on landlords aren't much off much better with that. Um, you know, they can pester those those past tenants. Um, they can eventually send it to collections. Um, but landlords, a lot of times when they do end up sending it to collections, if it takes that long, they sort of just take it as a loss. Um, and then also, if they have enough people who, who did move out and who aren't paying that rent back and they can't pay their own bills, you know, they, they can't necessarily hold on to that onto that building. Mm -hmm. You asked the lawmakers about the restrictions in this bill. What happened then? Um, most of the legislators um, were pretty consistent with their reasoning for why it didn't um, include past renters. Their primary thing was that they wanted this program to stand up really quickly. So they wanted to get it up and running the first round of funding because it's split into three different rounds um, of applications. They wanted to get it up and running within a month or two. Um, and they felt that if landlords had to be, you know, chasing past tenants to, to get the financial hardship forms back to them, um, that it would sort of put, put a hitch in the process or slow down the process. Um, and then their their other reasoning was that within that bill, there was also another 50 million that was allocated to um, sort of more traditional rental assistance programs. Um, but my sources and the you know former renters I had talked to had a really hard time navigating that process um, and had a lot of uh, a lot of concerns with that as well. And neither of them could get their hands on that money. Um, but the program um, did tell me that in the third round of funding, they they will be including past renters in that. Um, and then I'll add one more thing is that one of the one of the main crafters of the bill um, or one of the prominent crafters of the bill he's a uh, tenant lawyer um, and when I asked him why they didn't add past renters and he just said that they forgot and that if they had remembered they probably would have put it in there um, so the jury's still out a little bit on on why they didn't include past renters Sophie Peel thank you for your reporting we appreciate it very much thanks for having me you bet uh, you can read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com Thank you.